10 Most Affordably Small Towns in America There is a little southern town that will suit your requirements whether you desire to retire in a frugal neighborhood or move to a location where your money goes farther. Some of the finest festivities of the year may be found in little communities. Each of these 10 places is perfect for a visit any time of year and are among the most affordably small towns in America. Take a look. Number 10. Spencer, Iowa Spencer's historic buildings are a major selling element. It has a charming downtown with one of the highest concentrations of Art Deco buildings in the Midwest dating back to the 1930s. That is because in 1931, a small child set off fireworks all across town, causing everyone to have to start again. The town was included to the National Register of Historic Places in 2004 because to Grand Avenue's impressive Art Deco and Mission Revival buildings. Other than the beautiful architecture, the town is also a fantastic area to camp, hunt, fish, ride bikes, and attend the world's greatest county fair held annually. Number 9. Dublin, Georgia Tiny Dublin, Georgia has an impressive amount of resources despite its small population. Located roughly in the middle of the state, this town is home to a Veterans Administration Hospital, two historic districts on the National Register, and three colleges and universities, including Georgia Military College and Oakney Fall Line Technical College. However, it also has the least housing expenses of all of the tiny towns we looked at. Housing costs for both homeowners and renters are 40% less than the national average. According to C2ER, the average home price in Dublin is $239,067, much lower than the national average of $398,690. That's a 40% cost reduction too. Meanwhile, rents have decreased by 37%. Discounts on food, transportation, utilities, and a wide variety of other products and services are available to locals. The national average for a visit to the doctor is $117, but in Florida, it's just $75. Additionally, Georgia is one of the states that offers seniors a lower tax rate, which is great news for the elderly residents of Dublin. While the cost of living is relatively cheap in Dublin, unfortunately, many people still have trouble making ends meet. The poverty rate in this city is much higher than the Georgia average. Number 8. Houghton, Michigan Houghton, located on the Keweenaw Peninsula in the far northern part of Michigan, is a popular tourist destination throughout the year. There are 233 miles in length of snowmobile trails to explore in the region this winter. The village is the main point of entry to Isle Royale National Park during the summer months. Over 200 small islands, including 166 miles in total of paths, may be explored in this secluded park, which is only accessible via boat or seaplane. Number 7. Salina, Kansas about 90 miles north of Wichita and 175 miles west of Kansas City is the little town of Salina, which is located on the crossroads of Interstates 70 and 135. The town's economy relies heavily on manufacturing and the healthcare sector. Salina Regional Health Center and Schwann's Company, makers of Tony's Frozen Pizza, as well as Great Plains Manufacturing, which provide services to the agriculture sector, are two of the city's largest employers. Salina also has a number of universities, such as the University of Kansas School of Medicine, Salina Campus, and the Kansas State University Polytechnic Campus. Salina's diverse economy has consistently produced favorable results in terms of both employment rates and cost of living. C2ER reports that housing costs are around 67% of the national average. Additionally, grocery prices are around 12% lower than the national average. There are some more expensive options in Salina. The cost of utilities is over 2% above the national average, while the cost of health care is around 1% above the national average. Furthermore, taxes are high across the board. Due in significant part to its high sales tax, Kansas consistently ranks as one of the least tax-friendly states for middle-class households. Number 6. Statesboro, Georgia 
Statesboro, Georgia is home to Georgia Southern University's main campus. Therefore, it has all the advantages of a college town at surprisingly low pricing. The local university's prominence as a center of learning has resulted in the development of a number of cultural institutions, such as a theater, orchestra, museum, observatory, and botanical gardens. Then what's this? Only an hour's journey to the southeast will take you to the quaint city of Savannah. Manufacturing-related jobs are vital to the town's commerce, despite the fact that the university is the biggest employer in the region. It's also worth noting that the poverty rate in Statesboro is much higher than the statewide average of 14.3%. Statesboro's housing expenses are 32% cheaper than the national average, contributing to the city's ranking as one of the cheapest small towns in America. The cost of healthcare is also far lower than the national average by 12%. According to C2ER's Cost of Living Index, medical services are roughly 12% cheaper in Statesboro, whereas as dental treatment is about 27% cheaper. Number 5. Richmond, Indiana Richmond's contribution to the birth of documented jazz is unparalleled among the cities of just about any size. Greats like Hoagie Carmichael, Duke Ellington, as well as Louis Armstrong recorded a few of the first jazz albums in this sleepy little hamlet. Jazz musicians and others who made albums for Gannett Records in Richmond, Virginia are honored with a star on the city's Walk of Fame. Richmond, located an hour west of Dayton, Ohio, is recognized more for its universities and monasteries than for its jazz heritage. Among these are the Quaker-influenced Earlham College and its associated Earlham School of Religion, as well as the Baptist-founded Bethany Theological Seminary. Richmond is one of the cheapest small towns in the United States, due in large part to its low housing costs. Homeowners here invest a third less than their American counterparts do on poverty. It's 45% cheaper to rent a home here than it is everywhere else in the country. Generally speaking, housing prices are 25% lower. It's also cheap to get medical treatment. One example is that the average cost of an eye doctor visit is reduced by half. There is a 30% savings on doctor visits. Number 4. Tupelo, Mississippi as everyone knows, Elvis Presley was born in Tupelo, Mississippi, making it an instant tourist attraction. In fact, the Tone is excited to hold its 24th annual Elvis Festival throughout June. It is located 110 miles south of Memphis's Graceland. If you're not an admirer of the King, why not? North Mississippi Symphony Orchestra, as well as the Tupelo Automobile Museum, are also part of the city's cultural landscape. However, Tupelo's very inexpensive cost of living is likely its second largest claim to fame. As determined by the Cost of Living Index, utility costs, such as electricity and gas, are around 13% cheaper than the national average. There is a 14% drop in food prices and a 35% drop in housing costs. Big businesses in Tupelo comprise of North Mississippi Health Services, Cooper Tire and Rubber, and Bancorp South BX which has its headquarters in Tupelo. Number 3. Lexington, Nebraska Outside enthusiasts will find their dream location in Lexington. It's conveniently located about 9 miles to the northeast of Johnson Lake, a big body of water popular for rowing, fishing, water activities, trekking, and cycling. In addition, the settlement on the river serves as a gateway to one of the world's largest animal migrations. From Lexington to Grand Island among the Middle Platte River is an 80-mile stopover for the annual migration of 400,000 to 600,000 sandhill swans on their way to the Arctic. Both Omaha and Denver are accessible in under four hours for a weekend trip to a major metropolis. These inexpensive housing choices in Lexington, Kentucky range from a 179,000 five-bedroom Victorian mansion to a 120,000 three-bedroom modest house. Number 2. New Ulm, Minnesota German settlers established this prairie settlement in the middle of the 19th century, and their influence is still palpable there. There are several authentic German eateries and delis, as well as the second oldest family-owned brewing company in the U.S., Shells. 
and of course, they have a fantastic Oktoberfest celebration. If residents aren't in a bar, they're probably at one of the many summertime festivals or at one of the many free concerts held in the park on Monday evenings. Despite having rich historical roots, New Ulm remains one of the cheapest cities in the United States. Number 1. Muskogee, Oklahoma Muskogee is the cheapest small town in the United States, and its compact size bellies the wealth of history, culture, and higher learning it offers. There are six museums in town, as well as the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame. One should not forget about Oki from Muskogee, the town made famous by Merle Haggard that became the symbol of Vietnam-era America and is often considered to be the area's most well-known cultural presence. Today, the neighborhood is home to a VA medical complex and the paper manufacturing giant Georgia Pacific. Yet, the city's very inexpensive cost of living is what makes Muskogee a desirable destination for many. C2ER's Cost of Living Index finds that the highest savings may be made on housing costs, which are reduced by 40% compared to the national average. Getting about, buying food, and getting medical treatment are all far less expensive. Conclusion Overall, crime and congestion are both reduced in smaller communities. It's more likely that people will know one another in a smaller community. These locations provide a considerably more relaxed way of life, which has shown to lessen stress levels for those lucky enough to call it home. You and your loved ones will appreciate the community's welcoming atmosphere, relaxed pace, and entertaining offerings. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.